We did a lot of work on biomass, on energy, dealing with metals, dealing with water, dealing with chemicals. And one day we suddenly noticed that we had been looking at one subset of questions with some clients and another with other clients, but actually they formed a network, a big mesh. So we'd actually, without knowing it, been working on a big mesh of all resources interconnected. And then we realized this is resource convergence, this is happening. You have to understand how resources connect and what's the consequence. And if we only realized it then, and we work with quite many types of clients, so we thought that maybe the clients don't realize it either. Then we worked with on, on actually, actually uh, a roadmap for mobile phone services. And the more we got into the digital sector, the more we noticed that even though the digital and the bio sector feel that they are extremely far apart and have nothing to do with each other, so actually they have the same problems. Digital is not immaterial, it actually uses enormous amounts of energy and a lot of the world's rare metals. So it needs sustainable energy based on bio and it needs sustainable materials. And it, for example, bioplastics are making an inroad. And the bio side, so it's actually to a great deal bulk, it's supply, it's logistics, which is controlled by software with RFID, with smart tags and sensors. So it is again very dependent on the digital sector. So putting these together, both what is, what is really the king of the hill position is mastering big flows of things, be it bits or materials, and sensing how they move and what to do with them. So those things flow together, that's confluence. The point of view is that things are going to change and radically. And it's easy to say that things are going to change, beware, so you also have to have an answer. And there is no one single answer. This is not a simple question, but clients, when we work with them, they have their own circumstances, so they ask their own questions. And we then answer together with them based on the, the particular specifics. So what has to happen in this change is that you realize what, that you are in change. That's what everybody doesn't do that. You know what the change is and understand the connections. And you also have understanding of and feeling for how things could go in the future. And that's where we are unique because we both have the expertise in the separate areas and we look at this from a higher level. So I would say it's the age of also who dares wins.